Well, one major factor in determining if a lawsuit can move forward is the statute of limitations. But what are they and why do statutes exist in the first place? Tom Sinus joining us now with the answer about that question, which makes me think of the Seinfeld. Is it statute or statute of limitations? It's statute. Kramer. It is statute. Yeah. There you go. And it's one of those topics that people talk about sure. I mean, on TV shows right. like Seinfeld. And may you step back and wonder, well, right. what is it? Exactly. What is it? And it's really important because this is the basic rule. If a legal proceeding is not filed within a certain period of sure. time, and this applies to criminal and civil cases, okay. then you can never bring that lawsuit. Sure. Right? So it's a deadline by which a legal proceeding has to be begun. There's a good definition. Okay. And it applies in civil and criminal cases. Uh, it, we basically have a statute of limitations with the exception of, ev of, of, of pretty much every criminal act other than basically murder. Exactly. Right? So why do we have them? Some people say, well, why do we even need them? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a couple of reasons historically. The first was, well, people should be um, encouraged to bring these lawsuits or criminal charges while evidence, witnesses, and yeah. stuff is fresh. Well, it's right? easier for everyone, let's be honest. Right. The second is, well... People need some certainty and predictability in their life going forward yeah. as far as what happened in the past. So what this means is that if you're, for example, I do personal injury work, and there are statute of limitations for all kinds of personal injury cases. And what's interesting, to take this as an example, is that the statute of limitations in different kinds of even personal injury cases vary by case type. Let okay. me give you an example. So if you're injured in an automobile accident okay. and you want to bring a lawsuit against the at-fault driver, the general rule is you have three years. But if you have a medical malpractice case, the rule is two years. Oh, wow. So these rules change yeah. case by case by sure. case. Makes sense. To make that even more complicated, there are, certain, uh, there are certain causes of action where you have to give notice that you intend to bring a lawsuit gotcha. even before you bring a lawsuit. Okay. So there's all these traps yeah. on what time deadlines apply. Some people ask me, well, are these hard and fast rules? Are there no exceptions? And the answer really is no. Uh, they're not always hard and fast. There are certain exceptions. So cases involving injuries to children sure. is a good example, okay. right? Children have what we call tolling. They're allowed to toll that statute of oh, limitations sure. so that it doesn't run until generally after they're an adult. Okay. Makes sense, right? Yeah. What about in criminal cases? Well, what if the defendant decides to uh, hightail it to Arizona for sure. a few years and wait out the statute of limitations? That's not going to work. Statute of limitations can be tolled when the defendant leaves the state. Okay. So this, what we have is just a very complicated patchwork of time deadlines. Yeah. And what the takeaway here is if you have a legal claim, don't take any chances or make any assumptions yep. about what the deadline is. Because right. if the deadline is gone, the yeah. deadline is gone, yep. and you can't yep. unwind Speak the Speak as soon as you can, for sure. Good stuff. Where do people track it out, Tom? Uh, they can find us online at www.sinusdramus.com. And give us a phone call, West Michigan, 616-301-3333. Or shoot us an email at info at sinusdramus.com. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Derek.